Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey. I'm doing a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising signs of Aries. Aries, here's where you'll find your readings every Friday. And there's also more readings. If you check out the description box below, if you want more for your specific sign, there's other places that I do um, your specific sign if interested. I also do um, personals, chats, same day coaching chats, um, and talk about anything. Okay, questions, readings, whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and get this, get started with this, Aries. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Let's get into it. What do you have for Aries today, Holy Spirit? What's going on with Aries this week? All right, we start off with the Ten of Wands. Okay. We come out. We also come off with the Nine of Swords, but it's reversed, which I like to see. That's a good thing. And we've got the Eight of Cups. All right. So definitely, Aries. It looks like you've come through some hard times here. Some very, yeah, some very challenging and hard times. What's going on with this Ten of Wands? You were trying to make progress, make progress on some things, but you just can not seem to get to the place that you want it to be. Let's take a look here. Page of coins. Definitely when it came to your financial situation. Oh, yeah. The page of coins and the seven of coins. It's like you try to begin, you try to start, and then something interferes. Things maybe start off, or sometimes things will start off well, and then it didn't work. Yeah, seven coins is reversed. You couldn't seem to get off, get something off the ground. Somebody or either you decided to try um, some type of magic, or you did some magic with a queen of wands here. Okay, mother. Could be a mother of yours, a mother figure. Um, others of you... you you may have tried to manifest, right? You tried to do some manifestation techniques. You might even try some pyramid things or quick rich, quick to get rich things, but those things didn't seem to work either. So you definitely have had some challenges you've been trying, but you seem to get, um, it seems like luck just wasn't on your side. It's like, is what you're feeling or what you had been, fe or had been feeling. So the divine is telling you clearly on here with this card, prepare for a change. So prepare for a change. Looks like something is going to change for you. It could be for some of you from for in autumn. Okay. I don't usually like to give dates because you know, it could change. It, it's so it depending on what you do, how you show up, things can change drastically. Okay. So some of you, it could be autumn. Others for you, the divine is saying prepare for change. Um, even prepare for change could be a few months for some of you, but yeah, the 10 of coins is here. So something that maybe you've been even waiting for is coming in or something that you've been creating, trying to get a start off, a start on, I don't know how I said like that is going to begin to be successful for you. So something definitely takes some type of, um, it takes time, especially if you're trying to, start a new business um you've got this new idea that you're getting off the ground okay but it does look good it does look good you are coming out of heartache you're coming out of stress and pain there's some type of change i don't know if it could have been even your change of attitude that you're in right now which is bringing this um this uh, outcome to you and it's actually moving rather quickly it's actually moving rather quickly because of the change in mindset here. Yeah, I definitely see a change of mindset and this going within. So it looks to me like you decided to go within and see things and put a light in the darkness. She's got her candles lit in the darkness. So putting some light to that darkness, maybe you were feeling dark. Maybe you feel like there was felt like there was outside influences. And some of you could have been right. Some of you, it was outside influences. But I definitely do see that whatever you have done, 
or doing is working. Okay. It's working. They could have also been someone messing around in your energies to try to stop a contract. Okay. Of some sort to stop you from getting any further in a new beginning. But like I said, you know, I don't see that. I don't see that being an issue because you've changed your mindset. And I also see the Empress card here as well. So that tells me that you are in the right position. You are birthing. You are birthing something here. So beautiful. You're carrying something that is about to, to birth. And I love it. You're going with the flow. I'm hearing that as well. Eight of Cups. So let's see. So definitely, I do see you going elsewhere. Okay, you're going elsewhere. Um, somebody may have also too, somebody's walking away from you. Nobody can, if there was any outside influences, they can no longer do so with this page of cups and uh, seven of swords. They know it. I can feel it. Um, and they, they know they don't have an opportunity. Someone did try to steal an opportunity from you. Okay. Whether it was a job, whether it was career, you know, whether it was finances, inheritance, somebody definitely, um, tried to take, but I'm definitely hearing clearly you come out on top as I saw 633. Okay. So something is balanced because you have mastered yourself. You have decided again to come out of negative thinking, feeling sorry for yourself, feeling like a victim. And therefore things are, are, um, changing in your favor and things are again, balancing out. Okay. Things are balancing out. I feel like you're not, um, you're also not telling people what you're doing and that's a good thing. You don't have to tell everybody everything. It's good not to. So you're definitely hiding how you're going about this. You're being secretive. You're doing what you need to do. You're calling things in. However you're doing, you're doing like meditations, prayers, but you are definitely, you have some type of strategy, something that you're doing on a daily basis that is bringing this in. Okay. Which is allowing you to, um, chart a new course for a new future and that's what you're doing yeah look at that yeah oh my goodness wheel of fortune this is beautiful this is a beautiful set of cards to do to have here um aries so whatever you're doing you could also have sagittarius in your chart because i felt like i wanted to say that okay but you're working hard and you are manifesting your desires by working hard and people are watching. I feel like people are watching and admiring what you're doing. Okay. You could also have somebody that's interested in you that wants to come towards you. Somebody's watching you that wants to come towards you, but they're not coming forward yet or they're not coming forward because they've got a broken heart. Okay. They look like they've had some type of addictions, attachments, some cycles that need, they need to come out of. They're doing some repeating cycles here. So if you care about this person or love this person, you may want to go ahead and pray for them. But if you're done, you're done. Um, <laughs> you know, no shade, but I feel like this person is going to eventually come out of this with the uh, cherry card, the knight of coins and the nine of coins, they're going to come out successful, but I do feel like they have, they are attached to something here too. They could be in some type of commitment, a marriage or something that they're trying to get away from that they feel no love from. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're going to leave this situation at some point because this person um, is not offering them anything. There's no love there. This person is very, yeah, very, Ooh, queen of swords. Yeah, very unkind, not kind at all. Flighty flies off at the mouth. Also may get a, go around a lot, if you know what I mean. They make they get around like they get around a lot. Like back in the day when I was a kid, that's what came to my mind as I'm here, and they were like, you know, she's like a doorknob. Everybody gets a turn. That's what I heard. I mean, that's how that person is feeling about this person. And there's no love. There's no abundance. No, there's no opportunities. With this person, they could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like yourself, um, or Aries, excuse me, because somebody in here has got Sagittarius in their moon or something. I'm picking it up, but they could be like an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius 
person who's just kind of I'm getting loose who's just loose and they also may be intuitive and they may have been trying to do some type of love spells or pin um, a pregnancy on someone okay this is crazy but anyway that's coming to an end the divine is going to take care of all of this and um, I'm going to end it here I hope you found this helpful if you like the video hit the like button if you want more like it subscribe this is where our journey ends Thank you for allowing me on your journey. And again, remember, if you need to, I do do those same, same day quick chats for reads, uh, motivation, coaching, questions, even venting. And that's usually four to, between 4 and 7 Central Standard Time, Monday through Sunday. Thank you. Bye-bye.